What's up YouTube? I hope you're all having a good day. I certainly am because all my parts have finally arrived. So today I'm going to be unboxing some of these boxes and showing you what parts I ended up getting. I'm going to start off with the biggest box first. I've already had a little sneak peek inside of all the boxes but anyway. So first of all I've got this Kenda tyre, small block 8 for my dirt jumper. got two of those. The next thing I've got here is the two tyres for my NS. I decided to go with Maxxis Minion tyres. So I got the Minion DHF and the DHR too. So fresh rubber for all the bikes. I've got some more tyres, this time for my BMX. I went with the blank generation tyres. They were nice and cheap and they seemed pretty decent. The tread is kind of like more towards street and skate park. These are the new pedals I've got. These are the DMR Bikes Brendog signature pedals. They're just DMR Volt pedals, but just a signature version of them. Very nice packaging. Also like the little sticker you get. And got like a bit of an advertisement. I actually got those grips too. Comes with some pins and also a tool and then two different types of pins and an allen key. So they're very nice looking pedals. They're my vault, like I said, but just a signature version. Super light though, that's crazy. Next up, I've got the race face narrow wide chain ring in black. It's 32 tooth, super light, it's very nice finish. Here's the other side, and it also comes with a race face sticker. Next up, I got some grips. These are for my trail bike. So with these grips, you get to pick how you want them to feel. I went with thick and soft. Probably soft won't last as long, but they're a lot more comfortable. And I've got big hands, so I went with thick. I'm really liking the design. It's got the single lock clamp on that side, little flange, and then it goes into like a ODI long neck type pattern and then a nailed pattern and also it has these rectangular type pattern here it's like a motorbike grip and then the bar ends like inbuilt to the grip it's hard on this side so I'm really liking the design and everything on them the only bad thing about them is if you have big hands like me they're not very wide so I'd like a bit more length to the grip but other than that they're very nice alright next up I've got a seat for my BMX, but I'm thinking about running this on my dirt jumper. It's a blank pivotal seat. It was nice and cheap. I'm really digging the tropical vibe on the design. Very nice. I like it a lot. Pivotal. Actually pretty hard. It's not soft. Yeah, it's pretty sick. So next up, I've got a bottom bracket. That's for my BMX. It's a mid um, 19mm bottom bracket. This is it, it comes with plenty of spaces, nothing fancy, just plain black. Should be good for my BMX. Since we're talking bottom brackets, here I've got a Hope bottom bracket. Bit more flash than that other BMX one I just unboxed. Very nice design, I really like that box, that's cool. Um, I got it in orange to suit the decals on the fork, which are orange. It's really good. Next up, I'll try to get the headset out. That's Hope also. There we go. So yeah, very nice bearing. This piece also has a seal on there. So that will help to stop any dirt and water getting in there. Same orange as what the bottom bracket is. There's not much left in this box now. A new sprocket for my dirt jumper. Bottom bracket and headset press, half tool. Headset for my BMX. Some pegs for my BMX. And some grips for my BMX. That's it for that box.
These are the groups I went with for my BMX. They're the Stay Strong ODI groups. Very nice, plain black, and just a standard ODI bar ends. They should be sweet. I've got a Fiction headset for my BMX. Comes with a cool sticker, I'm liking that. So, this piece actually has a seal in it, and it's got very good quality bearing, so you can't go wrong. Here's the sprocket I got, it's a stolen bikes cartwheel. Very cool looking design, I'm liking how you can run the sprocket bolt in two different spots, so if one gets worn out, you can switch it to the other side. So yeah, 25 tooth, comes with two of these sprocket adapters. So here's the pegs, just plain black. Nothing special about them. There's a bit of weight to them, and it comes with the two adapters. Can't go wrong. Starting off with a fresh package now. This one has my third jumper parts in it. Nice. So it comes with some stickers. This is from Source Bear Max. That's sick. They give you a fair bit of free stuff. The Colt cranks for my dirt jumper and profile bottom bracket. Also came with a free t-shirt. Looks like a poster. A poster. Might actually tuck this t-shirt on. That's sick. These are the cranks I got for my dirt jumper. They're cold crew cranks in 165mm length. Got the two crank arms, spindle, and also the uh, mounting hardware. Comes with the tool to install the cranks to the spindle also. I think they're called crank pullers. I've never used one before because I've never had good cranks like these. It also has a Colt sticker. Bracket for my dirt jumper, Spanish 19mm. Good quality. Here's a quick look at the poster that came in the box and also the stickers and an ad for a BSD seat. First of all, I've got a Shimano out of gear cable, 10 meter roll of it in blue. Alright, so here. I've got a dropper post. This is a one up dropper post. Never actually heard of one up until I seen this dropper post and then I researched the company and they have a lot of good things said about them. So yeah, I decided to get the dropper post in 170mm. So yeah, it should be sick. So I use a cable for the um, dropper post, there's nothing fancy about the cable, so yeah. But here's a lever, I'm really liking that design compared to my old dropper post. It's so sick. I'm pretty sure this is carbon fibre as well, I could be wrong. Next up, I have a one-up components chain guide and bash guard. This is what you get in the package. I don't really know much about chain guides and bash guards, but my bike came with a chain guide and a snap somehow. So I'm gonna replace it with this one here. Looks pretty good, but yeah, I'll learn about it when I install it on the bike. The next thing I've got in the box is a 10 speed KMC chain. Probably won't open it up because there's not much point. But yeah, good chain. And I've also got a new inner cable, so when I redo my gear cable, should be good. Here's the inner cable, it's just a SRAM stainless derailleur cable. Here's a close up on the chain, very good chains, I really like these ones. Mountain Bikes Direct includes some free stickers, and I like this one, it comes with a sticker so you can write down your shock and fork pressure on, so you don't forget it. Alright, fresh box here. So, first of all, I've got some new brakes, Hope Tech 3. Yeah, I went with orange also to suit um, the bottom bracket and headset, and also the fork 
decal. So yeah, very nice packaging for these. I went with the stainless steel hose. These look insane. Got the Hope floating rotors, blue. So I actually upgraded the rotor size. I used to have 180mm rotors at the front, now I've got 203 and at the rear I'm going to be running 180mm rotors now. Yeah, 183 rotors, sorry. So because I did that, I got some new um, brake mounts. I've got the post mount to international standard for 183 rear. And also for the front, I had to do a bit of research about this, but yeah. We got the um, 183 for the front, but because of the forks I got, the posts are a bit longer than the standard size, so you don't have to get the 203 ones. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm on about, but yeah, you just got to do your research. Hopefully I got it right. I'm really liking the design of these rotors and brakes. I'll go more into detail when I do the actual install video, because I'm going to be building up the bikes again. With these new parts. I got a new bottom half for the headset on my dirt jumper. Already had a spare bearing laying around for the top half. Can't go wrong. Here's a chain I got for my dirt jumper. It's a Shadow Interlock V2 chain in black. I really like the packaging, that's cool. And here's a chain, just a half link chain. Very strong though. I went and got some new forks for my um, trail bike. This is a fork I decided to go with, the Fox Factory 36. It's just insane. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it. So stoked on them. The recommended fork travel for my frame is 140 to 160. So I just went in between and went 150. It comes with some air volume reduction spaces, a sticker, a star nut and a tuning guide. Some of the things on the list I didn't end up getting. I didn't end up getting a new cassette because this one's still actually good. It's just the black has came off but the teeth are actually still alright. Also I didn't get a new derailleur. I didn't get a new fork for my dirt jumper because I couldn't find any for sale. All the Manitou Circus forks in Australia were sold out. They had some from international shops, but the postage is just way too much. And I couldn't find any Rock Shop Pikes or Mizoshi 55CR Slope or even Dirt Jumper ones. I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing video. In the next few days, I'll be making a build video for my Dirt Jumper and BMX, and also a separate one for my trail bike. So if you don't want to miss those, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Thanks for watching, everyone.